What's up, guys? So Fox, back here with another map. We're gonna go ahead and do a Fleet Mud Geyser map of hordes. To increase monster pack size and increase their movement speed, attack speed, and cast speed of the monsters. So let's jump right in and do that. I do want to show you guys uh, my new armor. Well, I re-rolled it. I didn't. Roll. I I glanced and showed you guys it for a second when I was uh, doing a video, but I didn't really go over it. I wanted to make sure I got increased energy shield and maximum energy shield as high as possible, so I cast it, and I needed a lightning resist too, so it worked out pretty well. Um, I'm not going to cast this one anymore because it's only item level 63, I believe. 63, so yeah, that's a pretty good roll for 63, so we're going to leave that as is. But I just want to quickly go over and show you guys, that's why I have more uh, energy shield over here. In fact, I should have 5,000, yeah, once I do my discipline. But it also means I have to run purity, because look at that. My uh, fire resistance is only 48%, because fire resistance was on it too, my old one. So we're going to have to run both purity and, uh, which only leaves us for 337 man, and we can't run the Tempest Shield. But it's okay. So let's just jump right in and do this. This is a level 68 map, so it should be fairly easy, but I'm running my 68s until I run out, because... I want to start running my 69s and 70s, so I need to run these 68s and get it over with and get on to the higher level maps. Because I'm not leveling that fast, uh, but last night I did uh, get in a good group and I uh, got quite a bit of experience. So I'm at 61%, so that's pretty cool. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, wait. My curse is backwards. Sorry, I just switched on all this gear, so I gotta make sure everything's set right. Okay. Should be good now. Let's go and uh, clear this map out. Oh, of course, they gotta have, like, fast guys. I swear, like, the mods in these maps, you'd be like, oh, that's not such a bad mod, but then they put, like, the worst enemies with that mod. I swear, like, the enemy variety or enemies that come with the mod are always based off of what the mod is. So you get a bunch of fast guys with the faster mod. Because that's just how they like to do it. That's what they do. That's what they do to us here. I think... I got my life leech and stuff on it. Okay, I'm good. I was like, I hope I have the right skills on because I haven't uh, <laughs> I haven't played since last night. I just jumped on. And I just figured I'd go ahead and run a map real quick. Because I'm trying to get some experience and level up here. So, you know, it's better off in a party with people. But uh, I don't have anyone on right now I trust. Well, I mean, maybe I do. I haven't looked at my friends list right now. But I haven't talked to any of my friends. None of my friends messaged me yet. So, I don't know. I just felt like running one map by myself real quick for you guys. And I'll probably party up and... You know, donate some maps to the party and go ahead and run some maps to the party and finish leveling here. But I got a percent already, so it's not terrible experience in 68. It's not like it's a 66 map where I basically have no experience whatsoever. Oh, you guys really want to all gang up together, okay. Oh, a bunch of blues. This is going to good drops. Come on. Give me some drops. Dominating blow? What the heck's that? Oh, that's the one where they uh, blow up. Wait, is it? Oh, no, that's where you turn a guy into an enemy. I haven't got one of those. I think that's the first time I've had that skill gem drop. When you kill a guy, they turn and fight for you. Actually, I've seen it with, like, a multi-strike. It looks pretty crazy. You can turn a whole army of guys over to your side and fighting for you and whatnot. Alright, where the heck? I'm not sure on this map. I've ran one with guys here a few times. I think it's basically, like... A narrow swamp, kind of like a ledge or a swamp, something like that. Why is my totem dying so fast? I'm about to start out. Oh, glorious plate, sweet. Yeah, we're going to turn on the cones one of these times. I know we try every time, but it never works, but you know what, this is the one. Maybe not, but <laughs> we're going to try it. So if it does, that'd be cool if you guys can see it comes made here. I guess they made it a lot harder, you know, to get those uniques, but I'm still trying, because who cares, like, my chance are just going to turn into scourings and regrets, or I could, um, or I could do something cool with them, you know, like get a combs. Oh, I did want to show you guys my skill tree, because I did change some stuff, and I'm actually going to refund this savant, too, but what I did is I refunded all this cold damage here, the elementalists, and this intelligence, and then just put a point here and grab Celestial Walker and Prestidation from this side. And I put them all into these Throat Seeker and Critical Strike Multipliers, which has increased my damage a crap ton. And I'm looking for more uh, 
critical strike multipliers. That's what I really want because my critical strikes are already on my phasing pulse 32 percent. So that's pretty decent. I mean, I'm sure I can get a little higher for sure. But I want that critical strike multiplier to be higher. It's a 390. That's without a critical strike multiplier gem. With that in my uh, cold snap, it's at 548. 548. That's not bad. So, yeah, I'm going to try to keep on getting more of those. That's what I want because it just increased my damage so much. And I'm able to run stuff much quicker. With the bigger energy shield, I need the more, you know, the crits for higher so I get more life steal so I can max out how much energy shield I can grab at any point in time. So every second I can grab like 2,000 energy shield back almost in life. Which is cool because it's limited by your energy shield pool. I don't know if I discussed that with you guys before, but like whatever your uh, life steal is, you still can't gain more life per second than whatever your energy shield is over here, I think. I believe, I mean, I mean I'm, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm sure that it's based off of that number. So the higher this number goes, the more your life steal can be affected. So you want to increase your energy shield as much as possible without trying to lose too much damage. I'm going to grab that occultist specimen and roll a Siobhan's with it too while I'm at it. Might as well with match my combs, you know. Might as well have both of them. Stop blowing up on me. <laughs> so that's cool. I always like getting those whites. I mean, they're good whites to get. For chance orbs, you know. Any time I chance orb something, it's going to be something that's going to be worth at least 10 exalted. Otherwise, I don't see the point. I mean, that's just my thing. I mean, if I'm going to get lucky at one time, it might as well be something that's actually valuable. Or, I mean, I guess if I needed something for a build, like really desperately, like needed some certain unique or whatever, I'd probably try it. Because they did increase the chances for lower things. But I have a lot of uniques, and I don't think I need uh, any for any builds I'm working on right now, per se. Maybe like a lion's eye bow, that's probably only worth like 7 or 8. I could use that in my elemental druid, but I don't know. I'm not too concerned with that. I'm just going to go for the crazy ones that give me a, a whole lot of uh, currency if I get lucky and get one. And sooner or later I will, and you guys will see it, because I'm going to definitely uh, do it while you guys are watching, well, hopefully. I guess I could get really unlucky and it happen when you guys aren't watching me and I get a comus for free and basically <laughs> no one will believe it happened. Like I don't know if you guys saw my ninja in the Exalted Orb, but I swear I ninja it. Unfortunately I wouldn't show the video anyway because I don't want the people at the party, because I kind of know those people, to get all like, oh dude, come on man, you jacked that. Well, I mean no one saw it, so I don't know whose it was, you know, someone would have said, hey, it was mine. I probably would have gave it to him, most likely, 90% chance. I mean, I might be a little skeptical, like, oh yeah, sure it's huge, you know. But uh, I probably would have gave it to him. Because, I mean, I don't know, I play with people I know and trust most of the time. But I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know whose it was. Like, it dropped, and they were too far away, so no one could have seen whose it was. If someone was like, dude, you just took my Exalted Orb, I wouldn't have gave it to him. I'm not a dick. I was just like, I just, I just don't understand like how like people play in parties all the time and they expect to farm. Like you're not gonna farm like that because people are gonna jack your stuff unless you're like amazingly good at uh, picking up items. And there is actually something else I want to talk about with picking up items. I haven't tested this myself, but I've been told by a friend of mine, Sir Rhapsody, that uh, you can um, put your mouse over an item when it's gray and just hold down hold down the click instead of clicking like a thousand times per second like I have been like because that's my Diablo 2 trick <laughs> I just click faster than Picket can click well my theory is faster than Picket, Picket can click because Picket was like a, uh, a hack that people use for Diablo 2 and they get a bunch of drops and they, they get all the drops they want basically they automatically pick up their items for them but uh so I just would click like so fast like click 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 you know and um, that's how I try to get items, but if I can just click and hold, I mean, that's maybe the new way of ninja in people's loot. I mean, not that you should try to ninja people's loot, but I'm just saying, if you are going to ninja loot, you might as well do it right. Just a second. But sometimes you might have something happen like it happened to me. Like, there was no choice but to ninja that. If I didn't ninja it, someone else was about to grab it. And someone else would have grabbed it in the next 10, 15 seconds, or when they went back through the map, like, and like, they would have been just as much a ninja as me because no one knew whose it was because the timer ran out. By the time the timer ran out, you know, when I picked it up, I mean, there's no telling whose it was. I mean, 
what are you gonna do? Just guess? Okay, you can guess. But there's no guaranteed way of knowing who's it was. Oh, whenever you're fighting these uh these guys who freeze the ground, you wanna keep on strafing. Well, most guys, you wanna strafe around them all the time. So you don't get like so they don't affect you. Like most guys don't get to hit you really if you're strafing right. I mean like look at that. I mean, these guys will just sit there and destroy you, but if you strafe them properly, they shouldn't even be able to hit you. And that's how most guys are in this game. You want to be moving, you want to be strafing, you don't want to be standing still in this game. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with this guy. He won't die. Oh, hell yeah, he dropped a ring. Dang. What level is this ring? I kind of want to use my chaos recipe, but we kind of want to see what it is. So, item level 70. Uh, I'm just gonna use my gas recipe. I don't know. I'm not too worried about what stats it has. I have pretty good ring. I only get one ring for my build anyway. Mine's pretty good, but it is a life ring and it can be really good for my elemental ranger, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, my crazy pulse is gonna level. Are you kidding me? Oh, my damage is awesome now. Let's do this. 3,000 times 3, so 9,000. Dash per second. That's awesome. Yeah, when that those level nowadays, it's a huge deal. I mean, it's level. Uh, let's see. Give me a second here. Press a million buttons the wrong ones. It's level 18 now. So, I the reason why it's only level 18 is because I had um I have a 20 percent there, and uh, I had a level 10 leveled up to 18 or so, and I did replace it. So that's why it's lower level than you would think it would be for being my level. And I've done that like twice, because I had a 9 quality originally, so, yeah. So yeah, my level on that needs to be up there. Once it gets to 20, I'll be doing a lot more damage, so... I don't think they're going to get me with their frozen shots. They're trying, though. They're trying so hard. Just die, dude. Just die. Get out of the way. But I get two chaos is guaranteed if I don't identify it. If I do identify it... I mean, I guess there's a chance I can get one chaos for sure, eventually, but... I don't know. It's probably worth identifying because it's such a high level. I mean, it's not that high, but it's 70, and it could have good mods on it being 70. 70 is where, like, I don't know, mods get a lot better for my character with a lot of different items. 75 is the optimal for most of the stuff I want. There's a few things, like, I think my wand, I might want level 78 eventually. So like that. 77, maybe? Oh, this is how I meant to reflect? Or was somebody just hurting me? Oh, I didn't see this guy back here. That's probably what it is. My totems just waving things back, so... I think we missed something back here, though. It looks like it's a circle, and... Oh, I never mind, I didn't miss anything. Okay. It looks like it's a big circle, like, kind of like a dried lake. Except just, you know, this whole area of the edge around it. I'm not sure. This is only my, like, I think second time running one of these. Mud guys in maps. But yeah, I don't know. That's cool that I got a rare ring regardless of what I do with it. Because at the very least it's a it's basically a chaos. But to me it might be two chaos because I, I think I have a whole set ready, that's what I was thinking about using it for. So we're at 65%, so we got four percent so far from this map. So this is not a terrible experience. Optimally I think I want to run 70 or higher to get a full experience, because like right now I'm getting a partial experience on this. I'm not getting full experience, but I'm not getting as crappy experience that I would if I was running 66 map or say docks. I mean, I can run docks I won't even get a percent, like per time I do it. Guaranteed I won't even get a percent. It's just ridiculous. So like, there's no point in me running docks anymore. I mean, I don't know. Unless like, for some reason, I find docks to be better for farming low level stuff than uh, Felshire. Which, I mean, I haven't. I, I don't know. Dax is okay, but I, I if I gauge my drops from Felshire Ruins over Dax, you know, as far as, like, how many rares, because I, none of that gear I'm going to use it. As far as how many rares I'm getting, I, I still think Felshire does a better job of farming rares. So, I don't know. There's a chisel. It's the best job I've gotten this time, I think. Well, besides the ring. Okay, is there a boss or something? Because I don't see him. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> I forgot. It was like a little Roa, a Roha boss. Let's make sure there's nothing up here, but yeah, I think we cleared it. 
Which means we need to go pick up a bunch of blues because like my inventory is still full, I mean empty. I ain't getting anything good. I got like how many rares did I even get? Just that ring, I think. It's all whites. I don't know. Let's pick up some blues so we can at least sell those for some alterations. <laughs> I'm so broke. So very broke. There we go. Alright. So it should be pretty full right now. Yep, yeah, looks like it. So there you go. There's a 68 map ram by moi. Let's go ahead and roll those armors. So it's fairly easy. I mean, definitely, I would definitely uh, recommend upgrading your gear to get around 5,000 energy shield. If you could before running maps, because that makes it a lot easier. Let's chance this. Ready? Damn. I got a rare. It's not horrible. It's not great. It's four link. Is it four socket or four link? Nah. I don't know what I'd do with that. It's not great, but I'll just put it aside. Let's see if we get some rounds. I got another rare. <laughs> oh, fire, cold, max life. I don't know. I guess that's not bad. I don't think it was going to buy either of those, honestly. I'm just holding on to it because I don't know. Well, if those two are my rares, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this in the Chaos Rescue right here. So let's go ahead and do that, too. Let's sell this crap and get two more Chaoses. Well, you know, I mean, maybe it's not crap, but... Uh, it's not terrible. It's not great, though. Peace out. Spell damage, spell damage, lightning. Yeah. I need faster casting on that stuff to use it. If I don't get a faster casting on a wand, like look at my wand, 17% faster cast. Even though like the stats are not crazy good, you know, that makes that wand better than any wand I've found so far in the game because it has 68, 67, sorry, 65, I'm sorry, 66% <laughs> spell damage and 17% cast speed, so. You know, that's still better than any other one because of that, uh, because of that faster cast. I mean, faster cast is awesome. That one's not bad. It's got a crazy attack speed. But the physical damage, if I was going to keep this, it'd have to have, like, 180%, 150% physical, you know? Then it'd be worth keeping. Just to give you an idea of what I'd keep and stuff. But let's go ahead and let's do a chaos for recipe. What I've been doing is just keeping... The boots, the gloves, the helm, the belt, and then waiting for the rings and amulet, you know. And I just keep three sets of this right at the top. So easy to keep there. And then as you get the you amulet and the ring, the next armor and weapon you get, just put it aside and voila. Wait, I'm missing something. Where's my other ring? Did I press cancel or submit? Oh. <laughs> I thought there was two rings. Did I have a ring this minute ago? There's a fire ring. Don't tell me I did something stupid. Where's the life ring? Oh my gosh, I was like freaking out. I, I was like, where the hell did I put that ring? I thought for some reason I sold it. I was like, are you kidding me? I got two more chaos orbs. I mean, that ring could be better than two chaos orbs, but I don't like gambling really. I go with the safe bet. If I can have to farm, I go with the safe bet. I mean, I'm going to gamble when I use this chaos orb. I mean, I could use it on this bad boy right now, but it's at 614. That's pretty decent. Oh, I got another cultist vestment right here. What am I doing? Ah, uh, That's garbage. What item level is it? Because if it's high enough, I'll keep it. 66 is not high. What's this one? I guess I'll keep it. Because with their blue, you can uh, save five of them or rares. You can save five of them. And then re-roll them for sockets, so I probably will do that with this one because I don't think anyone's going to buy that. I don't know, maybe someone who's crazy would buy it. I don't think it's high enough energy shield to be worth a damn thing. So instead of buying another chaos, all you do is you just put five of them here. Let's see what level this is. 68. Huh. So you put five uh, rares or five blues, it re-rolls the item. You get a new, basically a free chaos orb, and you get a jewelers on top of that because it re-sockets it. So any item, if you just keep five of them, that's why there's tornado ones sitting here, chain belts. You have five chain belts, and you want the reason I check the item level is because 
whatever the lowest level item level of the five items, that's what item level you'll get. So you want them to be about the same, and you want them all to be high. So, you know, like the sorcerer gloves or whatever. I mean, whatever items you, you're looking for for your character, you save them to re-roll so you can get free chaos, basically. That one's actually good enough to probably sell to someone. Maybe not, though. There's not that much life on it. All right, well, so Fox, signing out. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys have a great day. Take care.